779 minutes. Eight straight games. That's how long it's been since the IU defense last allowed a goal, while also going the whole season without having to play from behind. This is a lot about our focus and our discipline. You know, right from the start of the games, we want to get right on the team or on the other team, pack them in, play our game, and really establish ourselves. While the defense continues their stellar play, freshman striker Mason Toy continues to score. He netted both IU goals in the 2 0 win over Ohio State Sunday increasing his team lead to eight goals on the year. The combination of having you know, such a, a good um, good leadership in the back half with some experience and then throwing the younger players up front, it's the way you'd want it. But you're just starting to see a Mason really turn the corner on some small details and getting more confident. Coaches, uh, you know, give me uh, some more minutes each game because, you know, I've been able to earn it. Um, but it's just, I just need to get used to the system and pressing and things of that nature. And I think I'm getting used to it more and more each by each game. Mason Toy, the freshman, had a great game himself with two goals today. But Indiana got back another freshman today as Justin Rennix made his 2017 debut after missing the whole first half of the season with a leg injury. We wanted to get him into a game that there was a lot left in it, and that was important. So he felt that intensity, and he's going to gain confidence and, and fitness each day. And I think Justin will give us another player, whether it's at the 10 or up top. He could play wide. Um, I think all of you are going to really enjoy watching him. IU will now try to tack on another 90 minutes to its scoreless streak on the road Wednesday against in-state rival Butler. For our Indiana, I'm Zan Piarly.